Mairead, it's been, a, it's been a big news week, a uh, lot mm -hmm. to talk about, so we thought we'd better get a couple of real heavy hitters in the world of news <laughs> to help you out. It's Jedward time! Jedward! Go stay, stay, stay. Anyway, Craig. Do you want a bit of help there? There you go. Good boy. There we go. We'll see you there. there. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. Anyway, That's okay. cool. You're quite heavy, actually. Really? Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. People think that we're really, really light. We're actually really heavy. We're like, we're like a it's all stone. that muscle. Yeah, all that muscle from being on stage and like six pack and like eight pack. And Boys, like, uh, are you ready for a bit of news? Yeah, ready yes. for news. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Gotta get serious now. You know, in, you know when you're in oceans, the news are real serious. They're real kind. Yeah. And in other news, welcome to the news. Yes. I'm John. I'm the weatherman. This is Craig. This is Marie. <laughs> and today's news is... You tell them what's going on. Well, I think we'll start with Bertie Gate, boys. Uh, oh. The thing about disgraced former Tishi is they're always in the last place you look. Mm. Bertie's turned up in Nigeria, of all places. <laughs> there he is. That's him on the left there. Um, he's uh, gone over to give a, a, a talk, a bit of a speech. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, is he going to learn karate? He's not going to learn no. karate. No, he's going to learn how to spend $40,000 because that's what he's got paid for this gig. Mm. It's amazing. There's a website uh, and, a, and an agency called the Washington Speakers Bureau. You need Louis to sort this out for you. <laughs> because basically they sort out the big heavy hitters to we go and do speeches. Street Journal. Okay, it's kind of close. Kind it's in America. Yeah. But, boys, mm -hmm. this, is, this is a serious agency that sorts mm -hmm. out big names for big money, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. We, after dinner speakers. So you guys could actually get Louis to sign you up in this. You'd get a very, you could be code six, which is the highest paid speakers. I could be Agent Jedward. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I can be Robin. Guess what? What? I was in the cinema last night, okay? Men in Black 3 is coming out. Yeah. Well, I know you're probably watching, okay? You're like, what the hell? Well, it doesn't matter, okay? Yeah, but anyway, okay, yeah, okay. Because that's really Yeah, that's... that's Your pants is orange and the desk is orange. It looks Lads, like a pencil. Can I ask you, what do you, what do you make of Bertie Ahern and what he's been up to? Basically, all I know is, okay, he stole the front page from me and Edward. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like, I mean, what do you think of the guy? You know, because a lot of people are pretty knocked off. When we were like, because we used to like loads of running, okay, and basically I remember we were in Mosny and he was there to kind of like wave to people. All I know is, okay, I'm serious, okay, to be honest, No, you, just a sec, you finish your story. Community yeah. games, go. Okay, you yeah. mind him, yeah. I'll mind okay. him. It was okay. community games and he was down there and he was waving to everybody and we were like, oh my God, it's Bertie or her. <laughs> and then he like, a, like, a Nicky Byrne, everyone, all of them, they came like a pantomime Tony Rock. Yeah, but I think he, he, he like wears shirts and ties. I don't know, okay. He's watching a TV show right now. Okay, no, he's not. He's in he's Nigeria. Not, <laughs> he's, got dye, he's got to get a new haircut. He's got to dye his hair like black or something, or dye it like some crazy color like blue. Or, for like, yeah, so I don't know, okay. I don't know, okay. No, it's good. It's a good theory. It's a good theory. I've got to find um, out. i got to do my research. Here's okay. a story, though, I think the boys might relate to, uh, okay? Um, your old mate, Simon know. Cowell. He got a bit of a fight at the weekend when confronted <laughs> with a crazed fan at his London home. Really? Craig, guess what? Okay, we found out who Simon Cowell's twin is. Okay, okay. You. <laughs> no way, Edward. No way. I get, I get them. I get them right up. Excuse yeah. me. Yeah. All you gotta do now, okay, is get a really, anyway, really okay. oopaloo and tan. And this story is crazy. Like a fan broke into like his house because yeah. we always have like fans going crazy like everywhere where we go. So they they yeah, never. Yeah, but do I think like that. Okay. I think Simon Cowell, okay, he probably has weird fans. Our fans would never ever break into our house because no. our our fans aren't crazy. They're crazy, but they're not that. They're not they're not psycho crazy where they break in and go crazy. What happened? What happened? Your How fans crazy? actually go skipping. I was when I came in earlier on. Your fans were had a gigantic skipping rope yeah, and were yeah. skipping outside. They're like, they're like, they're like, How crazy? How crazy was this woman who broke into Cal's house? Well, yeah, she How was... How crazy on scale one ten, ten, ten? She's only 29. She was... Uh, she broke into the bathroom. So, I don't know, maybe she just wanted some of his products or something. Crazy. But she had a brick in her hand, apparently. And when he confronted her, he ran away. Which is... That makes me... I, I don't believe the story, because he can't run in high heels. Nobody can run in high heels, so it's not true. All I know is, Kate, that Simon Cal is probably like... 
I don't know what it is, but you've got a brick in your hand. I remember an X Factor play. We went to do, we went, we went to do his toilet, and he had like a little dog. Where statue. do you see yourself? No, next tell, to tell the story about his toilet. He had like a little dog statue and everything in his toilet. He had like push-up bars. I don't know. Okay, he probably was totally freaked out. Okay, he probably walked in, wanted to check out his smile, and then out of nowhere, it's crazy. He was probably was scared they were going to see like a secret statue by like Cheryl Cole posters. Movie. Like this, like this. It is amazing actually because she, he got a fright because she actually jumped out of uh, out of his cupboard. So. Did Finally, somebody has come out of the closet in the cow household. He should take it. Kind of interesting. Um, boys, he should take, he should take, can I ask you about something, a really new story that's just come in tonight, See? actually. The list of the people who are going to carry the Olympic torch through the country has come out. On it, Sonia O'Sullivan. Well done, Sonia. She well deserves Woo, it. Woo, Sonia O'Sullivan! Uh, yeah. Bono. Yeah, and, Bono, Bono. And, and Jedward. We're going to meet... Re, I, what, what? Yeah, I'm okay, right. Yeah, we're doing it. Yay. It's going to be amazing. That's going to be top secret. No one's going to know that. We're live on TV, okay? But anyway, okay, the, the reason why, okay, is because our hair is a resemblance to the Olympic tour. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. And we finally got it. So uh, and the, and the so Olympic... excited. We're so excited. It's going to be amazing. Like, think about it. Who could say they carry the Olympic tour? It's it like is. Deadly. It's a cool thing. It's a cool so thing. Olympians. Yeah. yeah. It was also pretty cool uh, running the LA Marathon. We didn't believe you did this, no. Ray, but we searched on YouTube because you had no race well. number or anything. Half one. You actually did do it. You, you, yeah, we you, did. You, Basically, okay, this is how the day started, okay? We flew from Dublin to New York. We flew to New York, Atlanta too. Then at five, we flew from New York to Los Angeles. Then we landed in Los Angeles. We left our hotel at like 11. Yeah. Then we're like in our room kind of chilling. There's a letter on our bed that said it was going to be LA Marathon on tomorrow. And then basically at one o'clock, we went to CVS, it's like a 24 hour pharmacy, got loads and loads of food, loads and loads of like, loads of like c c cereal, lo Cards. loads of of food and then on the way in the plane we were leaving like, wait, we got basically we ate a load of food so okay, I'm with you to their food then we, went, then, then, then we got a lot clock for 5.30 and then we got to the race and then we brought like our money it was like $169 each and then we just gave it to then them we went to the day, then the people were like sorry you can't run the race it's a day. And then, we, then this woman said we could do it okay and then we did it and then we were at the very start with so many people it was crazy and then basically we just ran it but the thing about it is okay and then we were on KTLA it's like I know actually boys have, stop, we have, stop we have, you there because we have footage we're here all day talking about it let's have a look let's have a look that's what you're experiencing at the moment to sing and talk because yeah. that must be the middle of the race because there aren't many people in. mile and she just came out of nowhere with a camera some guy on, a, on a, like this massive mobile was like mm, can I film you and then we just, we just, we just, we're just running it was Brilliant. really cool like, so like, who, who did the best time? John did the best I did the best time basically this happened okay in the 23rd mile okay we're running solid okay and, and I took a freak attack granny moment I was hurt. like I don't want to go on basically okay no one knows okay he was holding me back the whole way he was holding me back do you know something boys I don't want you to have this row on there we're not this after because it's time to bring on our next guest. Next yeah. guest. Well, we wanted to bring a bit of balance to the evening, okay? So we thought, what's the opposite of Jedward? <laughs> Come in, I think those boys have the happiest, smiliest face ever. And then I see your lovely, happy <laughs> face, and it just fills me in. He's just got the happiest big look about him. Yeah. So. I'm showing that you can carry that naivety on to, <laughs> to your 40s. How are you? I'm great. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very good. Looking... Life's good. I'm done. <laughs> 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 have you met I'm the... just listening backstage, then, and your explanation of the running the marathon. You two should do horse racing on four. Just to <laughs> because all I picked up was, ah, hello, coming over there, coming over there, coming over there. The lane is like, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll practice it, okay, we'll do it, we'll do it, we'll, do it, we'll check it out. Okay. I have a question, though. Did you genuinely 
No, you was running it. Or did Lou hey. tell you there was an ice cream van at the front of the... <laughs> And he just gave you a bit of change and went, look, they're going now. <laughs> Don't miss out on your cornetto. <laughs> Because instead of having a bus tour of LA, we decided to just run around and have a tour of LA by running yeah, around. Yeah, and we could have got sunburned, but we didn't. Guess what, Kyle? Well, okay. No, guess what? Well, because you took on the sun. <laughs> no, we actually you got sunburned. You took on the sunscreen. We were looking for a taxi for two hours and we got sunburned. And guess what? Guess what? We had, a, we had the zip thing all going on the whole way around, and we, had like a, we got like a red burn on the side there. because oh, it's called nappy rash. Yeah. <laughs> zip rash. Zip rash. Um, boys, Mom, was, did, you, did you see that pantomime horse? The snorty keeling over after a mile, that was me. <laughs> yeah. have you See, ever, I run it, but I don't like the publicity. Have you ever taken have you ever taken anything like that on? Like a marathon, maybe not, but any kind of big thing like that. What yeah, would well, you? Would you, you do this? I don't know, ten K or five K? I'd run for the bus. Run for a bus. <laughs> no, I mean one pulling away. Everyone's just got... out the door. You know what I mean? I mean properly, not even looking back. <laughs> having to chuck stuff at the window. <laughs> Vandalism, technically. You know, but I brought the back window and I climbed it. <laughs> That's okay, then. Made it to the job interview. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't get asked, uh, to be quite honest. I, I, you might I, after this. Yeah. No, I genuinely think sport relief have worked out that what it might cost for an ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> and for medical, you know, for medical costs, it's just not worth inviting me into that. Um, Johnny, I'd like to. It'd be good to train with these lads. Yeah, yeah deadly. We're trying to keep it focused. Yeah, we'll we'll be too peaceful. Like it's just like Rocky with Tourette's. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you're a bit torn, you're a bit torn, Johnny, because you're spending half your time in Ireland, half in England. So when it comes to the Eurovision, right, I don't know if it's a big moment in your life, but these boys here are representing Ireland in the Eurovision. Yeah, for the yeah. second year. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to rock and we have to go crazy on stage. And, yeah, and, but it's going to be like WWF this year because, <laughs> come on, we pulled something pretty good out of the bag for the UK. Mm. Even though Eng we don't stand a chance. Engelbert. You talk about Engelbert? Engelbert Umperdink. Engelbert. You won't know what's hit you come down. All I know is, Kate, he sings a really cool song. This is him here. This is Engelbert here, singing away. He looks like Wolverine's dad, doesn't he? He's got... Oh, oh, yeah, big it. notes. Boys. It's not that he's, he's best years behind him, but he does look like a model, but his feet are still stuck to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he's trying to escape quicksand as he sings. <laughs> To get up, my life depends. I'm sinking. I think it's you just lying on the stairs like that. <laughs> oh, come on, but he's a classic. He is a classic. I actually, worked yeah. for the pub landlord who should have recorded that song. And his agent, yes, his agent wouldn't let him out of his contract, and so Engelbert Humper didn't record it. Really? Oh, no. Genuinely. Mm. You heard it here first. Here first. We're talking about the Eurovision still. Out, you basically got to go on stage and totally rock it, okay? Everyone doesn't want to just sit there. You've got to be like, go crazy. You've got to go, hit the stage. The moment happens. Everyone across the world watching it. You've got to go crazy. Like the Russian entry. Well, like everyone have, you, have you seen the Russian the entry? The Russian yes. entry. Yeah, yeah, it's grannies. This is them. I think the Russian entry is amazing. I think it's really cool. They talk about hot babes. There they are. I think about it. <laughs> like, I think, these, I think, I think the, the grannies are a real inspiration to all the granny and grannies at home watching, knowing that they that you can do it as well. You can go out and do it and rock your vision. My favourite one's the one in the middle, who's kind of like, like, smaller than other people. Oh, She's a little Russian doll. She fits <laughs> yeah. into all the other ones. Don't, don't, oh, my God! There's <laughs> only do on stage, I all like going. Don't be bad mouth in your competition. Yeah. No, that, we don't that, that, that anybody. We, we think, you know. We're going to give them a big hug and ask them, like, we're going to get, we're, it's going to be cool. Give them a money mint. Just <laughs> calm them down. <laughs> <laughs> Offer to do the poem. <laughs> Boys, um, i got to tell you something. You know you're not the only twins in the village. Really? Oh no. Have a look the at this. Twins. Have a look at this. In the most number of twins and multiples in Ireland in the one place at the one time. Well done! Join me after the break when I'll be showing you what goes on in Carrick Macross every year. You don't want to miss that. Join us in the break.